Okay, the ride on this 2000 Dodge Caravan has been getting uh, rougher and rougher, uh, bumpy, and it, it seems like the struts have pretty well had it on this vehicle. So we have it jacked up, have it on some wood supports here on both sides, taken off both wheels, and then we're going to get at, and now we're going to get at removing some of these fasteners. Okay, we're going to start with the brake hose bracket. That's 10 millimeter. Get this back here. See if we can. Okay, what I've done already, as you, as you can see, uh, whenever you're replacing fasteners, which often is a, a real challenge on vehicles, uh, put a penetrant on them, let it sit a while, you know, clean the threads off first, of course, with a brush, and then try use jerking motions on it, rather than just giving it too much force. Okay, we're on our way with this. Okay, another good practice when you're removing a fastener like this, to go back and forth, loosen it a bit, turn it a few threads back the other way, and, uh, you know, and then go back to loosening it again. A lot of times if you don't work it, take your time with it, you'll break it off, which is often a serious setback. Before you need to go shopping for new fasteners, so just keep working it. You know, these things have been on here a long, long time. They've been wet, cold, salted, rust a little bit. Don't expect them to come off instantly. Okay. One down. Good place to store it. Right in the hole on something like this. Right back in there. Okay, now get this bar link out. It's got an 18 millimeter box end wrench on the uh, nut and a uh, T30 Torx that's holding the stud down and it's on there. Uh, last time I did this job I had to replace this bar link and uh, we'll see this one's on here pretty good too. Okay, so with the use of a uh, little cheater bar here and jamming this uh, socket with the Torx bit um, up against the strut, we managed to break loose this uh, rather stubborn, uh, st stubborn uh, stabilizer bar here that has to come off the strut. So we'll just keep working this off. If you can't get this loose, um, the next thing to go to would probably be heat. Some heat on it to see if you can heat up the heat up the nut. Uh, failing that, sometimes the only option is to cut it off and get a replacement. The part's not overly expensive, maybe fifteen dollars or so. So this bar link here is stripped out completely now. I mean, it's stripped out the uh, the torques, which is to hold the stud inside this stripped out and it's just going to turn round and round now. So our options are limited. I tried to get a bigger Torx in there. I could not do it. So I'm going to have to get a saw and cut this off now. Okay, since this bar link, link is not going to be reusable, enter the Sawzall. So we're going to just hack it off right here and then uh, get a new one. We'll take it down right here. them in the breeze. Now, as you can see on this bolt, this is actually an alignment bolt, this lower one here. And I'll show you on the replacement Monroe strut. This is slotted and that this bolt actually is a cam bolt that uh, the position of which is critical for alignment. So what we're going to do is mark, uh, mark this bolt. I'll probably just pick out this point right here and mark it as best as possible on the uh, steering knuckle so that when it's turned back in it is as close as possible to uh, where the original was so as we don't affect the alignment much. 
As it is, ideally, after doing this repair, you're going to want to have the alignment at least checked, and you may possibly need a slight adjustment. Yeah, so this lower bolt, being an alignment bolt, we want to put that back where it was. So what I'm going to do is just go in from one hex head point to the other, and then on to the steering knuckle. drawing a line so we can get it back where it was. So now when we put it back together, when these are lined up again, we know we're close to where it was. Okay, so now we've got to hold the bolt head because it is serrated. We don't want that turning. And I've got a 21 millimeter box end on there. And I got a breaker bar on the uh, 21 millimeter nut. It's going to be torqued pretty good. So, bust it loose. It's coming loose. Now I've cleaned the threads on here already. Had thread locker or uh, some penetrant on there a little bit oh, for a while. So, give me an every advantage in getting that nut off. And we'll be able to go to a ratchet after this. See how this bottom one goes. Okay, we're in. Okay. It came loose a little. A big breaker bar is always a plus in a job like this if you don't have air. I've got a 24 inch here. Okay, it doesn't hurt to keep cleaning these up along the way. Another squirt. The upper one I turned off fairly easily with an ordinary ratchet. This lower one has been breaker bar pretty much all the way. Okay, make sure you tap them out of there with something like a piece of wood so you don't damage the end of the bolt unless you're planning on using new ones. And here you can have a look at the cam bolt. It's basically just a, cam, just a washer on there that acts as a cam as it turns around. So we'll take advantage of our mark here when we put it back together so that we have our alignment maintained. I just want to point out on this cam bolt, make sure you put some sort of a, say I put a directional arrow on it, which will point towards this, the mark that's on the steering knuckle. It would be possible if you don't do this to put this in 180 degrees off, and you can see what a big difference it would make to the alignment point. Okay, got it freed up now from the steering knuckle. Okay, what remains now are the three 13 millimeter strut tower bolts. As you can see, we have some corrosion on our strut tower. Common problem on this particular make and model. So we'll just loosen all three of these up. I'll probably have to use a wrench back in there. I'm not going to be able to get the socket in there all the way. So 13 millimeter wrench, and we'll get those out. Okay, so I have the 13 millimeter box end back here. I lube these up a little bit too. There it goes. Not bad. Now removing this strut wasn't really all that bad except for the problem with the bar link. Okay, we have all three screws out on top. Which 
trying to be a little bit careful around the boot here on the uh, CV axle and there it is so here's the strut assembly out of the car that I just took out and one thing that concerns me on this one is how rusty the springs are the original paint's gone in quite a few places look at this right over here chipped off it makes me uncomfortable with replacing um, just the strut itself on this one. Now, a couple of years ago I replaced a strut assembly on a similar van. It's a 98 and I saved the uh, strut assembly. This one's in a lot better shape. See the black paint is still intact. So what I'm going to do is uh, can that one and uh, use this one which I'm kind of happy I saved now. But I see the poor condition of the other one.